So they understand that it will look really bad if they do not lean in to saying that they really do want Kamala. But even that feels a bit performative to me. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm starting to see articles creep out and they seem like attacks on Kamala. Again, if we can go into our time machine and go back to 2020, well, every time that someone tried to interject the truth about Kamala, which is that she slept her way to the top, it's a fact. She was with some six-year-old man, got her start in the political career, and they would go, oh my gosh, how dare you say this? That's so sexist. Well, then suddenly on July 6th, the Daily Mail actually published a headline about the fact that Kamala Harris was, you know, thotting through life. And they basically said she got her her political start, her political upstart, because she was dating this guy, Willie, can't think of his last name right now. And he was married and he was in his 60s and Kamala Harris was just a spring chicken. And that is how she entered the political scene. So she was not somebody who was a part of their ecosystem, but they tapped her in 2020 because they were like, oh, like the thing that we always say is that look at the Republican Party, it's so white and there's no diversity. And how are we going to be able to say that if we're running Joe Biden, who has been extraordinarily wealthy his entire life and whose son is becoming extraordinarily wealthy while smoking crack simply because he's doing dirty deals in Ukraine. So what are we going to do? We're going to we're going to hire Kamala Harris. We're going to we're going to select Kamala Harris to be the vice president. And he's the only person I can think of. And then we can sell. I know that when when she was sworn into Congress, she was talking about how she's an Indian, but we'll just sell the people like forget the Indian side. Like now she's back to black and the streets are talking. Ha 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 ha. And that's what they did. So that is the only reason that Kamala Harris, they literally did not have another person that they felt could be the vice president and allow them to use the isms. You don't like her. You're a sexist. You don't think that she's amazing. You're a misogynist, deep seated misogyny. You don't want this ticket to win. Is it because Kamala Harris is black? Kinda. I feel like it is. It's because you're a racist. So they just needed her to do the thing. You got come Queen La Imhoff in there. You know who Imhoff is? No. Yes, she does. Who? Mrs. Imhoff, vice president of the United States, who goes by her maiden name. Miss Kamala? Uh, Kamala Harris. <laughs> She's got two Jewish children she adopted. She married a Jewish husband who's got a interesting. I'm scared to talk about Kamala Harris. I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> no, she's a witch and she is a corrupt witch. She's been corrupt her whole life and she fucked her way to the top. <laughs> they used to detail this witch in the LA Times with her sexual escapades. She mm. fucked him near everybody trying to get up. She used to be a frat hoe when she was at Howard. And she ain't black. You know, I ain't got to do with this, Miss Harris. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, well, don't, nah, but she's a. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just listening. Well, uh, here's the thing I actually met her father mm-hmm. in Jamaica. I was, I was the guest, guest, said it to government. Long before she met Doug Emhoff, she dated some prominent men, including in 2001, former talk show host Montel Williams. Back then, he was the famous one and had to introduce her to the paparazzi. Now, the whole world knows who she is. 